What's up with her? She knows everything. Why are you running to Mummy? I'm not. She's the one who got Kane to back off. Don't feel like you have to thank me, though, will you? Why would I thank you? Because if it weren't for me, mate, you'd be beaten to a pulp. Yeah, and instead he's demanding 15 grand, some favour. But you haven't told her about him and Chrissy, though, have you? Do you know what? I'm sick of this. You can't just walk into my house. What, you scared if I give you miss as well? This needs to stop. Yeah, you're right. It does. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to cough up 15 grand, and then you're going to bung us another two so I can take more somewhere on holiday. <laughs> then we'll call it quits. I can't just find that kind of money without Lawrence noticing. Not my problem. Well, you're not going to come begging for more? I'm not that petty. Well, Chaz slap your wrists, has she? Aaron said she'd had a word. I knew you'd back off eventually. I'm doing this for him. I don't care about you. I've no idea what he sees in you. But from now on, you stay away from him, do you understand? And you stay away from my wife. So do we have a deal? Because I won't offer again. OK. I'll get on to it. Good. No rush, like. Any time in the next 24 hours. Right, mate, I've uh, given it the one, so it shouldn't take too long to break down that hold on, you know? Well, it could get done even quicker, if Robert gives us an hand. Well, I'd love to, but unfortunately, I'm not dressed for the occasion. Well, not a problem. I can lend you some overalls. Look, mate, if, if you don't want to do it, so... Hey, don't let him off the hook. He's just been telling me how he's not scared of our graft. Now's his chance to prove it. Yeah, and I'm doing. Go and get the overalls. Right, I think that's the life of it. Well, I must admit, I wasn't expecting him to be able to keep up with the pace, but it's proved me wrong. It must be all that pen pushing. Built my muscles up. Hey, cheers for clearing this lot away. Well, no worries, mate. I've not got much on today and should make a few quid out of that, so... Well, listen, if you're at a loose end, you can always help us clear the pit out. Might even be a pioneer for you as well. It's a shame to break up a good team. I'm just starting to enjoy myself. Make it two pints, you're on. I reckon we've earned a break. Well, me and Andy can finish up here if you need to get back to the office. Sounds like you're trying to get rid of me. No, just you proved your point. You're not afraid of our grass. I don't know why you're sticking around. Yeah, and I don't understand why you're giving me all this attitude. I'm trying to make the best of things here. I'm the one that's had to deal with Kane blackmailing me. Yeah, well, that's over now, isn't it? Yeah, you came to see me after your fight. A holiday and that out there is the end of it. So, coffee ready? You know where the kettle is, don't you? Hey, Rob, I know I've been ribbing you all day, but I really do appreciate you helping us out. Actually, I've, uh, I've enjoyed it. If you ever get bored of being a tycoon, there'll always be a job waiting for you here at the farm. <laughs> no chance. I've got a stake in Aaron's scrapyard, so maybe he's going to want me to help out more up there now. Uh, yeah, right, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll be back here tomorrow to help out with all the new gear. Are you going to show up, or are you worried you're not going to be able to keep up with me? No, I'll be here. Someone needs to show you how it's done, don't they? Well, I reckon we deserve that drink. I'll go along with that. I'm going to go home and get changed, and I'll see the old pack, yeah? Yeah. All right, see you later on. I think I'll give this drink a miss. Why are you worried what your mummy's going to say when you turn up with me? I just don't need the hassle. Well, it's not like we'll be doing anything wrong. But I guess it better stay our secret, eh? <clears throat> Aaron, I know you don't want to hear this, but me and your mum are a little bit worried about you and Robert working together. The last thing you need is him back in your life. Right, let's just get one thing straight. Me and Robert are helping Andy out. There's nothing going on between us. It's over. It's finished. It's done. Why don't you go and tell your mum that, then? Because you and my mum don't have the right to keep lecturing me on how to run my life. You didn't think twice about nicking your best mate's girl. And she was sleeping with the same bloke as Debbie for months. What? That's completely different. Really? Because I'm starting to think you'd find a fault with any bloke that I wanted to see. No, it's just Robert I object to. Right. Well, I'll tell you this. There's nothing going on. Are you hearing that loud and clear? Because I don't want this conversation again. Do you understand? Still doing this, are we? I was not working him hard enough. Since when has Robert Sugden been bothered about farm work? It's transparent, isn't it? Hmm. I should ring his scrawny little neck. Problem is, he's that slippery, I'd struggle to get an old. 
Aaron didn't want to hear it yesterday. He morphed into the incredible sulk as soon as I mentioned the R word. I'm on top of it. Don't worry. Wherever he goes, I'll be there. Thank you. So this old heap of junk's gonna make it. We can always take my car. Just get it. You're not worried someone's gonna nick it? No. Of course not, I trust you. And besides, it's insured. Are you? Sorry, I thought you were fitting some machinery thing. Oh, what, so you just like to check up on us? No. Why do I need to? We were just bringing the stairs in for the BDV jobs. Actually, Aaron, could you give us a hand in, like, ten minutes or something? Well, I'll come with you if you like. No, it's all right. Aaron's good with dumb animals. There's a bit of an attraction. Well, I told Moira I'd check the fence up there anyway, so... And these two will be all right. Any idiot could finish up here. Hey, don't let him skive off, mind. I'll do my best. He'll be worn out before we even start the way we've been going off all morning. What's he got his knickers in a twist for? Obviously doesn't trust us. A bit old for babysitters, aren't we? Done a good job there, boys, considering. Don't get carried away. You almost gave me a compliment there by mistake. Yeah, don't do that. His head's big enough as it is. <laughs> Worth a few blisters, eh? Not that I've got any bit too tough for all that. Yeah. Hey, Paddy, you missed the beers. Just had the last can. Still in well, eh? We say we uh, head down the pub. I reckon we've earned ourselves a couple of pints. Well, I'm picking the kids up at three, so after me another time, yeah? Just me and you, then, eh? You're not putting your hand in your pocket, are you? I haven't got that far now, but might raid the minibar when we get back to the scrapyard if you're lucky. Yeah. Aaron! Aaron! Yeah, me and Adam keep a couple of tinnies in the fridge, you know, special occasions, all that. Well, you reckon this qualifies, do you? That's up to you, innit? So what, if there's a business he really likes, he's just gonna chuck a load of cash in it and take a share out of the profits, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he fancies himself as the next Bill Gates. So what, stopping him nicking someone else's idea? Oh, nothing, I suppose. A sense of fair play, delusional dreams of getting a night on God knows. So, uh, what are we hiding in here for, then? Not hiding, are we? Just gonna have a beer. Not away from Paddy anymore. And anyone else that gets on my nerves, yeah. He yeah, was, uh... Right in your case today, wasn't he flitting about like an old woman? Or is he, uh, worried, is he? He reckons that me and you are gonna get it back on. Yeah? Yeah. I'll stay in better places. <laughs> so I guess, uh, Paddy had a point after all, eh? Yeah, you reckon? Right. So much for keeping things simple. I'll be in touch, yeah. Don't give him a hard time. He doesn't deserve it. What's up with you? Why do you always have to press the self-destruct button all the time? You've been perving about spying on us. No. What? No. You said it was over. Guess I was wrong. We just had a few beers, that's all. Yeah, I usually end up getting my kit off with me and Marlon have a few beers. But what happened last time? You practically ran yourself into the ground. And it's not just you that ends up getting hurt, is it? Do you know what? I don't need to wear this. Katie wouldn't have been anywhere near Wiley's if you hadn't arranged to meet her. Right, now keep your mouth she wouldn't shut, have fallen baby. through the floor either. She'd be don't alive. Don't you ever now, use that I'm just trying to make you see how wrong things go when you get involved with Robert flipping Sugden. <laughs> 